I'm from Saudi Arabia and Ireland, and I've come to the Nigerian parade today. I'm from Cameroon. Uh, I actually went to the University of Lagos. The thing I like most about the Nigerian parade is just celebrating my culture and being able to enjoy it with everybody else. Yes. Love was the fact that like we all came together as one. Even people from different floats, like uh, there's times where they will come down from their floats and join the other floats just to celebrate each other. So that was pretty dope. That was really dope. My dad brought it back from Nigeria, so I couldn't wait to bless the stage in my African attire. Everything pretty, it's your girl Barbie. Check me out at Official B A R B E E on Instagram. And later on, I'm going to be letting the crowd say what's up to my Snapchat, which is B A R B E E Playhouse. Everything pretty. Had to stop by with my homegirl right here. Bye, you guys. I'm having an exclusive interview with the Jamaican artist Dolly Bob. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad enough from the gully to the morning from Jamaican. Yeah. Cheer to Nigerian. Yeah, to African. I enjoy myself. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what I like about the period, everybody in unite, everybody together, the girls them can dance. What are you, my freestyle? Yes. Come on. From Jamaica to Africa, yes. that's the show you're going about, boy. Yeah. One of the wickedest things, boy. Yeah. Bada da, bada da, bada da, ba, ba. Come, go live up, go live up. The party is in full swing and 2nd Avenue is packed. However, some Nigerians take the time to reflect on the major problems back home, which includes unemployment, corruption, ethnic conflicts, and Buhari's presidency. It all starts with, the, uh, with leadership. If everyone in the leadership is corrupt, then there's no one to help. So it just, and if no one's up there to help things change, then nothing's gonna happen. Honestly, I just feel like they need a whole group of leaders. Just knock down, <laughs> knock down everybody that's there now and put new people that actually feel like that are gonna help, people that aren't corrupt, you know? Buhari is an amazing president so far, but everything that he wants to do is not possible with the people that are around him. You feel me? So I feel that, you know, the fact that Buhari has everybody who is around him is, is hindering him. He's not able to do everything that he needs to do. Do you think that the government has done enough for the Chibo girls? We haven't found them, and, and it's it's a shame. It's been like more, more than two years. Not at all. I feel that the government could do so much more. But like I'm saying, Buhari is trying. But because of the people around him, he's not able to do everything that he's, that he's able to do. So. As a president, I, I just want him to not to act not to act like see if, uh, like other president, like from yeah. Cameroon, who's been in the power for 34 years, like like uh, any other country. I mean, Mandela gave us like a prototype of presidential. I mean, he was in jail, he came out, he fought for freedom, yeah. and he stayed there for four years, and then he left. Yes. You know, we expect all the president to, to do, do the that. same thing. You know? So I know a lot of Nigerians would not want to go through the suffer. They just want to. They just want to get the reward. I think he's doing good, making sure everything stays in Nigeria. Like I guess the resources, instead of people coming outside Nigeria to spend money, he's making them spend it in Nigeria. And I know it's bad because I know like a lot of us suffering. But at the end of the day, if you look at the future, we're gonna gain a lot living in the U.S. and, you know, coming from Nigeria. How do you marry those two cultures? Our nonprofit is Hope Store Foundation. Check us out on Facebook. Hope Store Foundation, we work with the IDPs um, who are who are fleeing from Boko Haram in the northern of Nigeria. I'm from Akwaibo. I'm a southern boy. But, you know, we have to, we have to, Nigeria is a country. As Nigeria, you don't have to care about the state, but you have to care about the whole country in order for you to bring bring hope, bring prosper, bring um, progress to the country. Like my friends and everything, they're from America. I have friends as well that's Nigerian. Um, my family keeps me grounded. My church keeps me grounded as well to always, you know, remember your culture. Wherever you go, just always grab your culture and take it with you. So for the past couple of years now, let's say like two years, first of all, music has brought Africa on the map. Like, Everybody knows about Nigeria now. Everybody wants to be Nigerian. I feel like we are the most popular country ever. <laughs> Right after the parade, the celebration reaches its peak with Nigerian businesses running booths on 44th Street. 
The event is also an avenue for international artists to fully embrace the Nigerian and African culture as a whole. Mm -hmm. Come with me. Let's go. Let me know.